With this legal smart client, we can receive items from purchase orders. As an example, this is a purchase order for American Express where we have one item. If we want to receive this with the smart client, switch over to smart client, we need to create a result template. I've created one here already with record type item receipt. Let's take a look at how that's configured. We have the created from, which is where we enter the purchase order number that we're receiving the item against. And we have the other columns here, such as the transaction ID, the date, the entity, and the memo. And next, we go to the sublist for the item. The order line lets us specify the line item in the order. And here I added a location since my purchase order requires a location to be set. So let's go next and finish that. Then we can load the template. Click on item receipt. I'm adding seven rows there. OK. If I go back, I have my purchase order as 1258. It's the purchase order number. So enter 1258. Press enter for the real time lookup. So it's found it. Now I just entered the order line, which is first line, since I only have one line there. Location, let me select a location. And there, I'm done. Now, what I can do is just click on update to go ahead and update the receipt. So it was able to successfully update and I can actually do a right click and refresh to retrieve the values from the record that was created. So the item receipt ID is, the internal ID is 8356. You can see the purchase order number there and the details have actually pulled in there. If we go back to NetSuite, let's go to receive orders list. And we can see here the American Express 8356 was the one that we just created. And we see the item receipt here. Okay, that's it. So we've created the item receipt using the smart client. Thanks for watching.